Well, my process has definitely changed with the times, and I think it's it's good for every artist to, to change with the times. You, it's something that is, I, I just think it's needful for any creative person. You have to um, be, in, be in tune with the times. The DJ, digital or vinyl? Digital. I proudly say digital. You know, I'm from the old school and you know, we used to have to carry those heavy crates around of records. And sometimes we didn't have to carry the heavy crates because somebody in the baggage uh, room or area at the airport would steal them. So we would show up at gigs and we wouldn't even have records. So you don't have to deal with that stuff anymore. You can just carry everything on the plane and it's all good. Mm -hmm. Normally it's a... Uh collaboration between the graphic designer and, um, and myself, you know. So I'll come up with uh, the initial ideals, like I'll come up with like certain uh, graphics or themes and then the designer will help uh, make my little ideas come, come to life or whatever. The original plan was that I was supposed to become a chemical engineer. I was going to go to graduate school and potentially get my PhD in it and, um, and do something in chemical engineering. I have no regrets leaving it behind because I just love music so much. And so in the beginning, it's, it's just more or less about getting something that is definitely within your budget you don't want to go broke. You don't want to take out loans, go into a loan shark, and next thing you know, they cut off your hand and you can't mix. So you don't want to go that route, you know? And just be, just be really happy with what you have and try to do uh, the best you can with what you have. Uh, wow. Um, during those days, I was really into experimenting with sounds and and all types of stuff like that, you know, being influenced from some of the Doctor Who sounds, the, the sounds that you hear in the soundtrack for Doctor Who. That's where my head was at during those days. I was always like, okay, I'm just going to make my own sounds. I want something to be new, different, fresh, you know? And, uh, and so when I went into the studio, I used to want to have people come out, you know, to the studio, hang out with me, and, uh, they wouldn't because they were like, oh, your stuff is too weird, dude. I, you know, all my other friends, they were doing cool stuff. They, they would go in the studio, the studio would be packed, everybody's partying, having a good time. I would go in the studio and it was like, cricket, cricket. It's time for the When I think of transformation, I <laughs> this is what I see that's gonna happen with the music streaming. I see you get these these really big sites like Tidal, Jay-Z, isn't that his new music thing? You got iTunes that's gonna do a new music streaming and then they're gonna try and take over everything so that even the underground artists on the music streaming won't get any visibility. So you still won't be able to discover more underground music because it's, when you go there, it's gonna be all the commercial popular music. 
I have a theory that these big corporations and everything are trying to get control of the music industry because what, what used to happen, for example, in the 90s, the only time that people were able to come together and unite and in the name of love and fun and joy was the raves. You know, right, that was right, the only right, place you could right, go where it was right. diverse, people from all classes, backgrounds, races. And you know, so me, I think some people didn't like it, so they shut it down because they wanted to make sure their kids married the right people. Right, you know, right, so, right, um, right, 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 right. But now we have the underground starting to make a comeback. And so I think these people went back to the table again and like, okay, I have to worry about again who my child is going to marry. You guys have to help me out. How do we infiltrate this and shut it down so that they only listen to the things that we want them to listen to, eat what they want them to eat, and not let them experiment and find the things that they like to eat and what they want. One thing to prevent you from having, I guess they call them writer's block, but a creative block is that uh, you just want to um, always go in and number one, believe and trust that you'll be able to, to do something. Um, don't get frustrated. If you get frustrated, then, you know, uh, go and do something totally different and come back. But uh okay. Just, just do it. Believe in yourself and trust that uh, you, you're gifted and you have the talent. And uh, and if if it works, fine. But if it doesn't, you can always do another track. You know. So and and that takes a lot of pressure off of you. Um, I have a, a lot of friends who are in the music, been doing it for a while, and and sometimes if people don't appreciate their their final thing, like say they they do this record and they put blood, sweat, and tears in it. Oh, 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 you don't know what it took. That just took so much out of me. And this is just my baby, my heart, my soul. Oh, and this is just so good. And I know the people are gonna love it. They're gonna love this because this is the best thing I've ever done in my life. They put it out and only the mama buys it, you know? <laughs> and so, so um, you then, when that happens, you got to be like, okay, it's cool. Um, they didn't get that one. What can I learn from it so that when I do the next one, um, I can hit the mark. Yeah. You know, I can finally do something where uh, the people really get it. And you have to really understand and know that. You know, it's not just about you. Okay. You know. Oh, I have tons of analog gear and um, some some new stuff you know of course i have the my computers with all the soft sense and and all of that stuff but tons of analog gear 